Timmy Carlons, single quotes, double quotes, the characters belonging. I see that you're struggling with code formatting too, but don't worry, that is prettier. And today I'm gonna explain you how it works. So here I have three messy files. As you can see, they are all messy, okay? And we're going to format them with Prettier. So before we get started, really important, you need to follow carefully each step because they are fundamental to make everything work, okay? So first of all, let's install the Prettier extension. So you have to go here, Prettier, yes, BAMP, this one, install, okay? Then you can go to the settings from here or you can go down here, settings, and then Prettier. And you see the settings. They are not a lot because Pritia is supposed to be a tool that helps us be consistent with our coding style, okay? Especially when working in team. They could be changed here in the settings.json file, but this is not the recommended way. But just to show you, if you hover over the options, you can see the real name. And if you go to the settings up here, open settings, you can start typing something like Pritia. And here you've got all the settings. So if you click on that, then you've got the options. Really, really cool, okay? Really important, if you want Pritia to be used as the default code formatter, you need to tell that to be as code, okay? And you can do that by adding this setting here in the settings.json file. So editor, default formatter, and this one. This will enable Pritia for all the files, all the extensions. And actually, before we save that, if you go to the main CSS, for example, down here, you can see this X, which means that you didn't set any formatter, okay? Same thing here, same thing in the index.html file. If we save that, this goes away. As you can see, you don't have that anymore, okay? because you've told this code to use Pritia for all the extension for the files. But if we comment this out and we go to the main CSS, for example, this is still here. But if we go to configure Pritia, then this will tell this code to use Pritia just for the CSS files. In fact, if you go to the settings.json file, you've got this syntax, which means use Pritia as the default formatter just for the CSS files. You can also do that for HTML and so on and so forth. So here you can tell VS Code, use Pritia just for this CSS, for the HTML and whatever you want. If you, on the other hand, leave this, this means that Pritia will be used for all the files, which is what I want at the moment, okay? So let's see how this actually works. So if you go to the main CSS and you want to format it, you can right click, format document, and as you can see, everything is formatted. Same thing here, format document, and same thing for the JavaScript. As you can see, here you've got double quotes, single quotes, semicolon here, not here, Etc. Uh, Etc. Et you can just right click format document and everything is perfectly formatted. Okay. Later on, I'm going to show you how to make this automatic when you save the file. So as I said, this is working, but this is not the way to go, especially if you're working in team, because this would use the same preacher version for every project and also the same settings. Furthermore, if you're using setting like single quotes and your teammate is using double quotes, you would have to change settings each time. Okay. And this would definitely lead to problems in the long run. So let's now see how to configure things the right way. First of all, you need to have Node.js and NPM or YARN installed. So if you don't have them installed, you should install them first. Then from inside the project folder, we can run the terminal and we can install Pritia locally. So for the NPM, you need to write this, okay? NPM install, etc. For the yarn, like that, okay? I'm just going to use the NPM one like this, okay? Let's go here. As you can see, node modules. And then in the package.json, you've got 2.7.1, which is the version of Pritia that we are using at the moment, okay? Then after doing this, you need to create a file in here, in the root folder called PrithiaRC.json, which is the way of telling VS Code that we're actually using Pritia locally. The cool thing is that after installing this locally, the VS Code extension will always use the specific version of Pritia for its project. So even if Pritia releases different updates, the version used is still the 2.7.1 in this case. In this file, the PrithiaRC.json, we're going to put all the options that we want to change and that we were writing in the VS Code settings.json file. All the options here will automatically override the VS Code ones, which in turn makes everything better because now you can set different settings for different projects. And once you set them, Pritia will always use those options for for the project for you and every person working on this project. So let's actually see a few options. Okay, so let's close this. Okay, so here you can change a few things. Like for example, if you don't want semicolons, you just need to write false and then single quote. If you want the single quote, you need to write true. If you don't want parentheses here, like around here, you just need to write avoid, as you can see. And if you want the line to be longer than 80 characters, stuff with more than two spaces, stuff like that, you need to change them here, okay? And as you can see, if you format now, you can see single quote, not semicolon, not parentheses around, okay? And this will override the settings here. So if you wrote something, some settings here, these wouldn't be used, but these would be used instead, okay? You can find all the options available and what they do at this link here that you should see on the screen. Then we can also create a Pritchard Ignore file. So 
dot preacher in null. And here we can put all the things that we don't want preacher to format. So for example, if you don't want anything inside the CSS folder, we just write CSS. Or if we don't want to format files with the HTML extension, with the CSS extension, or maybe a certain file, just the index.html file, we put those in this file and automatically these are not formatted. So as you can see, if we go, let's go back to the messy one. If you want to try to format, it doesn't work, okay? So this is kind of cool if you've got minified files that you don't want to actually format, okay? As I said before, we don't want to keep right-clicking, like right-click, uh, format, etc., etc. but we want to, to format everything when we save the file, okay? And this is as easy as adding this setting to the settings.json file. So we go to the settings.json file. This is the VS Code settings. And we add editor format on save. Let's actually delete those from the pretty no file, otherwise it wouldn't work. If you go here, we go back to the messy one and we save that. As you can see, it gets back straight away to the formatted one. Here, same thing. And script.js, let's change a few things, like something like that. And if we save that, as you can see, straight away, okay? So now, if you're eager to learn more, go and watch this other video about web development. You won't be disappointed.